Hi everyone and welcome to my very happy place here at the kitchen bench. I've had lots of requests from people all over the world wanting to know if I knew how to make a foaming hand cleaner. This is also for my son who tells me from his place in Canada that it's getting quite difficult to be able to get lots and lots of things and it's difficult to get out, so et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So when I was talking to him about this, he said, look, just film it, mum, and don't give me any instructions. When you upload it, just send me a text and I'll get it myself. This is so easy. You need soap base, liquid soap base. I've also already got a recipe for how to take a cake of soap and turn it into a liquid form. And this is what I'm talking about here. You'll also need a tablespoon of oil, whether you wanted almond oil. You could use this here, which is a bit of olive oil, you could use a hoe, but whatever oil you've got will do at this stage. So you also need one of these foaming pump canisters, which I've had for ages and ages and ages. It's a really good investment, these, because I reckon you can get the soap to go much further in a foamer than you can the other way. However, this is for my son. Right, into this you need to add four tablespoons of your soap, but your liquid soap base. Now, I found this in the drawer the other day. I don't know what it's doing here, but it's really good because you can suck up a whole, a whole heap of stuff and it made it so much easier than mucking around. And I just thought I'd like that whole thought of just being able to push that into there. Oh, I knew I would like that. <laughs> you know, it's at times like this that you do nutty things, isn't it? Just Or just little strange, weird things just so that you can have a wee play around. But, you know, when you find something new, why not have a play with it? Okay, on to there, the next, into there, the next thing to go in is going to be a tablespoon of my jojoba oil. As I said, you use whatever you want to use. Put that into there and I'll just push that into the sink because I don't want to mess because it's my kitchen and I don't want to be spending ages is cleaning up. Now into that you can put whatever essential oils you like. I like my four um, thieves blend because I don't know, I just love the story behind it. I don't know if it medically is antibacterial and every other antibacterial, anti-antifungal, anti, anti, anti-anti-this. Anti I don't know because I wasn't around when the myth about this or the story surrounding the four thieves came about. But anyway, into that I would then add, usually it's about 10 to 15 drops of my thieves or whatever essential oils you wanted to use, put those into there, this tin into there, take that off there and then the next thing to do is to fill the rest of the canister up. So it's pretty much you use like about a quarter of um, your soap base and your oil and then the rest up to about almost an inch from the top. I just keep it down a bit so that when the pressure goes, builds up, it's got, it's got that space between the liquid and the pump to get it up. So into there, they, I know my recipe used to call for distilled water, but if you can't get out for distilled water, you know, water's water as far as I'm concerned. So just fill that up and put the water in last. Don't put the water in first. I always like to put it in last because you might just find you have yourself a little mess. And it's quite good this because it, the soap goes a long way. Okay, that's to there. Put the lid on, make sure it's, give it a wee swoosh around and then just like that, isn't that just great? So, super, super easy, easy to put together. If you don't have um, a new canister or you can't get out to buy one, you might already have one. Just give it a good wash in hot soapy water so that it's, it's clean and whatever's in there is out. I hope you've enjoyed that. I've enjoyed sharing that with you and I'm really feeling very proud of myself that I've got nice clean hands. Hope you've enjoyed that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again another day.